Today's Inside the Mind gameplay hopes to allow you to get better at Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name's Cody. Thank you for taking the time to, to uh, watch my video. And uh, for those of you guys who do not know, this is our Inside the Mind gaming series. What we like to do here is play a competitive game of Madden NFL 16 and then uh, and then talk about our, our plays and our adjustments as we go through. The reason we think that this is uh, really essential for the channel is because it, it really lines up well with what we want to accomplish at this YouTube channel. Uh, at this YouTube channel, our purpose is to uh, develop people into the best Madden 16 gamers that they can be and then also to uh, help them create themselves and, and find their own identity within the game. That's our goal and we do that through a variety of things but today we're going to be doing our inside the mind gameplay. Now we are using the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook and we will be releasing a offensive e-guide on this playbook uh, very very soon actually we're, we're really almost finished with it and and we're hoping to get that out to you guys uh, from my pers uh, from my perspective I think I should be able to have it uh, ready to go uh, a little bit after the first of the year, so we're hoping probably first time uh, mon Monday morning to get that out to you. Had a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a quarrel, uh, a little bit of an issue with the PlayStation uh, Four having to be replaced because of some uh, some issues, and and so that's why it's a little bit delayed. Um, on defense, we're running the New England Patriots defensive play, but we're actually running it a little bit different uh, than we ever have before. We're going to be focusing on the 4-3 under. Uh, in my opinion, this was a package that is very, very underrated since the uh, Madden NFL 16 first updated patch and where it patched the 4-3 under uh, pressure scheme. And so uh, I'm really excited to, to talk to you guys about that uh, play playbook specifically because it's actually going to be one of the focal points for our uh, defensive playbook guide that we're also going to release along with the offense and so uh, those are going to be some some things to look out for uh, coming up here and that was a terrible read on third down so I'm not really playing my best uh, right now to say the least but um, hopefully here we can get the first Um, I've got a lot of really good content that I can't wait to share with you guys, but I'm trying to make my videos a little bit better quality, and uh, I know I've had a ton of microphone issues, and so because of those things, I'm, I'm really trying hard to work on that, and that's why I'm actually going to not be producing as many videos, per se, but I'm hoping that the videos are higher quality, I'm hoping that the audio works well, that my presentation is well, and all of that stuff uh, that that I don't really do well with. I hope that I by taking time to focus on that, it will actually help my channel uh, improve and hopefully be much more easy easily communicated to you guys. That's really at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that's my goal. Um, I've actually and real quick before we hop into this, I've updated my team a little bit. I, I want to go ahead and do an updated video of my roster lineup to show you um, all of the cool players that I have now. I've gone through and really updated my entire team. I had a lot of coins and so I you know I, I could get rid of them very easily and uh, you know, because I, I was just holding on to them. And I, I realized that one of the things, and I'm going to talk about this more in a Madden Ultimate Team tip series that I'm going to do, talking about how to get uh, how to get a better team in, uh, in Madden Ultimate Team. But um, I've noticed that one of my... And we can't get our stupid hot routes in. And I can't hike the ball... Oh, I hate when this happens. So sometimes in mutt, you for some reason you're not able to hike the the ball. Like I and I have no idea why that is, but it's so 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 frustrating for me when this happens. But uh, anyways, I got this Marcus Mariota. This is the 91 overall Ultimate Freeze Edition. And I really, really think that he is a very solid player um, for a lot of reasons. But the 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 main reason that I really love this card. Is um, it's because number one he's mobile, but number two he has very good middle throw accuracy, and I'm finding out that if you have a quarterback with really good medium accuracy, you're actually 
you're actually going to do fairly well. Okay? Um, so, because I, I haven't missed very many throws with this Mariota, and he also has 91 speed, which is always a plus when you have a quarterback that can run the football. So, I think this is probably going to be my quarterback for the rest of the year. And I only spent probably 200,000 coins on him. And, you know, why, it, you know, while when you say it, it like that, it sounds like you spent a ton of coins. Honestly, that's not too much in terms of an elite level quarterback. Um, and so I've kind of moved on from the Tony Romo and I, I really liked him, but she just missed so many throws for me for his, for like being the quarterback with supposedly the best accuracy stats. So I just think he missed a little bit too many throws, but um, anyway, so offensively we started off a little shaky. Um, we had to go to the ground game, ended up making some big plays for us. Uh, one of the things that I'm trying to do a little bit better uh, job of is running a balanced offense. And I, not a balanced offense, but an offense that takes what the defense is going to give you. And if the defense is going to give you, you know, easy running lanes, you know, you have to you have to take what the defense gives you. So I really, really am enjoying this 4-3 um, under so far. We'll see how it fares today. But... Um, I, I just really like the way that it aligns. And I don't think we spend enough time talking about that, but I really do think that it's so critical to have a defense that really, truly aligns well um, against what your offense wants to do. And I, I and what we're finding out with this defense for a moment is that it's, very, it's a very, very good base defensive scheme. And we're using some of the concepts – in passing situations that I really am liking to do with this nickel three three five odd, the beauty of it is that we're still able to run it as we always did. Um, we're still able to run these quick pressures off the edge in, in, in situations like this, and we're using and basically the three three five odd is a spinoff of Mike Zimmer's double a gap uh, concept, and so that's why I like about it so much. And um, but anyway. What I'm really, really excited about with this is the ability to be flexible, to be able to really, truly stop the run. As this is probably the first time I've felt really comfortable stopping the run here. We force a bad throw on fourth down. We're going to end up getting the ball back. What I really, really, like I said, I've, I have never really felt solid against the run this year, and I can honestly say that. I, I've had some decent run defenses, but I felt like they sold out a little bit too much, and they weren't really good against the, 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 the deep streak. If if my opponent wanted to run a deep streak, then he could normally uh, get it. And there, oh my gosh, I just hit the wrong button. I meant to hit, I meant to hit the freaking square button, and I bumped, or the triangle button, and I bumped freaking circle again. Oh, well, that's okay. So that's a poor read on my part, it, and, and sometimes that happens. Um, you know, you just have to kind of roll with it. But what you'll find with this is it just aligns. I'm just really in love with the alignment of this play, this formation. And the thing is, we have the safeties. The, the, the critical component to this defense is your free safety. Um, he has to, and I mean has to, be able to run the run deep with anybody and cover them, cover them with effectiveness. There you see, there's that pressure, and that's a little pressure of our own we've got cooked up for you. If you want this type of pressure, check out our New England Patriots defensive guide we're going to be dropping in a couple weeks. It's pretty it's pretty nasty. Um, the ability to turn what you you know what used to be uh, you know a heavy blitzing defense into a nice defense that can cover all sorts of components and also now what we're able to do with this is we're also able to um, and we're gonna throw this away. Oh, that's bad. That's bad football right there. That's just bad football. I think I just got my quarterback hurt too. That's that's really bad football right there. Off of, to go play action like that. That's not something I normally do, and that's that should serve to a lesson for everyone that sometimes you know you get excited and you want to try new things and stick to your scheme, stick to your your preparation. It's so essential to uh, success. And his guy got a nice block shut off the edge there. Um, with the third and 28 here and a, and a backup quarterback in, I'm going to try a little slip screen. This is a play I don't really run much. Um, this is 
this is a play I probably want to, you know, once, twice a game. Just kind of throw it in. It's a constraint theory play, and it really basically revolves around the idea that, you know, at least showing it. Here he's going to bring his, his guy down. He's going to stop it, and that's perfectly fine. We'll take our field goal. Luckily, Marcus Mariota is going to return to the game. Um, guys, that was a ter – you've seen a – a really bad showing of the offense right now. The defense has looked phenomenal. The offense has looked pathetic. And I think our special teams has looked pathetic too as we miss this kick. That's where you need to run the ball. See, a lot of mistakes right now game planning wise and, and, and that's on me. That's 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 on me completely. So um why the four three under? Well I, I chose this for a, a couple of reasons. And the biggest one being being that it is very, very balanced in that it's it just it stops the run very well. Um, it, it really does. You know, you even when you're you feel like you've called the wrong play, you still can actually stop the run with this. And um, with the effectiveness of the inside zone this season, uh, I find this to be a very good starting point. Here's a little quick pitch, and you just see. You know, there I was beat because I was sending pressure off that left edge, and and we're still able to kind of pursue it a little bit. Okay, not 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 great there. We did get we did get roasted, but the idea is again just a little bit of pursuit. Now here we should get a little 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 inside zone, nice run there. Uh, there's a couple of key things that you're going to need to run this defense, and we'll talk about it. I've done a ton of research on this subject, and. Um, of defensive football, especially specifically the four three under, so that's probably why I feel most comfortable in it, um, just because of the research research that I've done on it. But uh, but yeah. So here we're bringing the guy in motion. If he runs the t the toss, uh, I've got to get out here on this left side toss. And here's a little power run. There you see the defense. I'm trying to see if there was even a cutback lane there. So now we're in a third and seven situation. See, this four three under is designed to get you in third and seven, and then in third and seven you can get your sub packages on the field and you can send uh, send some pressure at your opponent. And that's what we love to do. So here we're gonna pass commit because it's third and seven, and no one on our responsibilities, and that's a good read. We that that's a that's a good read. There's not a whole lot we can be upset at at that. Um, so so two running back set here. So we're just gonna come out, stay standard. There's a play action, crossing patterns. Aaron Lynch makes a great play right there. Aaron Lynch makes a great play. If he would have went to the high pass lead, he probably would have actually done a, a decent job. He got the safety to hold there, and that. That's got to be – got to do a little better job next time uh, of being prepared. Here we're going to go to a, um, a, a – hopefully a blitz off this right edge here. Let's see what we can do. So there's some crossing crossing patterns. And there, Georgia Loca. Guys, this Georgia Loca card, he's very, very standard. But, man, he is a great safety for this system. And he's pretty cheap. I mean – you know, with with the ability for me to have a couple more coins, um, you know, I'm able to purchase guys with you know nine thousand coins and things like that. But guys, he's a great safety. He he truly is. Okay. So in this situation here, I'm just gonna take the crossing pattern, get out of the, get myself a little breathing room. Now, as far as what am I trying to accomplish here, uh, I'm really just looking at if he shows me a look, um, but he's showing three deep. So these aren't the best of looks here. And he goes zone, and that's a mistake because we're going to hit read over the middle. And we got about 35 seconds here. Um, I really kind of wish I hadn't shown this slip screen. But we're going to go ahead and run it again with this press alignment on the outside. And we're throwing a pick. Man, we're playing really bad football offensively. Really bad football right now. The de good thing the defense is really good. <laughs> is right, you know, right now the offense is not playing up to par. So 
So there, Peters was right there. Well, that honestly, guys, that's that's karma for playing bad offense right there. I mean, you can't you can't make those many mistakes offensively and be successful. Um, so, guys, you know the thing is, like, I put these guides out, and I think people, you know, really think of me as like this great player. And if they don't, then you know, maybe I'd like them to. But um, the more I play this game, the more I realize, like, I make a ton of mistakes, you know. And I, I think that one of the things that I love about this Inside the Mind series is that it can't hide them, you know. Like, it shows you the mistakes I make throughout a game, all the reads that I miss, and all of the bad throws that I make, and, and all of those things that are actually, you know, that are reality, that really do occur. And I think that it's really good because it allows us to learn it allows us to learn from one another, and, and and that's really what I love about this, is that it just. I think that this is a really good way for us to learn. Um, you know, you can learn from from my mistakes, and I can learn from yours, and and, and, and your questions and things like that. And, and and that's what I really am after here. This guy's playing some decent defense against what I want to do. Um, and honestly, right now, I mean, that's the bottom line is he's just playing really good defense against what I want to do. There's there's really no more, nothing else to say other than that. It's, you know, all my reads that I want to throw to are, are pretty well covered. And he's got this edge. These guys are getting really, really good block sheds. So there's really nowhere to go. And, and this is why trying to score at the end of the half is not always a wise option. Um, if I would have just taken what he gave me, taking this, taking this little outside speed out, you know, then I would have been fine. But unfortunately, I got a little greedy, and um, and tried to do things my way, and it cost me, I think, three turnovers in the first half. I don't know if he, I think we received. Wow, that, that defended the fullback dive pretty dang effectively. I wonder if see if he'll call a timeout here. Or if he'll just take it in the half. So pretty good first half for the defense. Pretty sloppy first half for the offense. Unfortunately, he's going to get the football. But the defense has been playing pretty well. Uh, like I said, offensively, we've got to sure, sure up some things. Uh, real quick, while we're doing, we're doing the kickoff, I want to go ahead and apologize to you guys because I, I know that a couple of things have been going on with the channel that really are, are my fault uh, for not being better prepared. But um, one of the things I do want to apologize for right now is the audio quality of my videos. And I really am trying hard to make sure that these uh, audio, that this audio quality is effective and, and, and really beneficial uh, to you guys. So just please bear with me on that as I, as I continue to try to get better. There's four verticals and Honestly, right there, that's just bad defense. That's that that is a very poor defensive call, with the kind of play call that he had. I I didn't. I was calling a run defense and a passing uh, set, and you see it got me and bit me. So here he goes five wide again. Now this is a little bit more of an opportunity for the defense. There's a quick flat route, and he comes right down, right down after halftime, and just dots me up. So right there, I probably should have been in the nickel three three five odd. Um, I kept just trying to kind of see what I can do with this four three under. If I can run in against five six wide, so that's five or six wide, five, four or five wide. Um, so yeah, hopefully the offense will play a little better here. Mm. Okay. So tight offset tight end. And we're going to come out. We're just going to start off with a little inside zone here. Because uh, he's been running. I don't know what he's even running. If this is dime or nickel or what. But you know, that's so flipping frustrating that the stupid receivers don't block anybody. So right there. Basically, the tight offset tight end is an interesting formation because of the way that it's aligned. It just – and now I can't snap the ball. See, I feel like that's a – I feel like that's an issue. Like, I can't hot route. I can't do anything. It's going to cause me a timeout. I can't afford a timeout here. 
gosh, that's so stupid. I don't know. I mean, I get really freaking frustrated with that because, I mean, come on, man. So he's, I've never really seen anybody run this type of defense, and this is interesting. So there's Jordan Reed. Oh, my gosh. This offense is throwing too many interceptions. Why are we turning the freaking ball over like this? All right, if I was him, I'd run a... I'd, I'd run the ball because I'm borderline on the edge here getting shamed does run a toss 4-300 does a good job of holding him I think it's a decent idea to spread your linebackers with, with this defense I haven't experimented enough with it. All right, so this is a situation where defense has got to win here. This is a critical down. So we're pass committing. So that should be a sack, and that <sighs> we needed a sack right there. So defensively, I feel like outside of that that drive, and then that one, like we've given up really two plays. Other than that, we've played really well. The offense has played. This is probably one of the worst offensive games I've played in a long time. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you can have good players, but if you don't make the right read, it, it doesn't matter. You know, and I'm just, honestly, I'm just not making the right reads right now. I'm trying to, trying to do a little too much, I think. And that's probably coming back to bite me. And I'm, I'm having a very, very quick temper here. Uh, so we're going to go zone a spot corner. I've been liking this play for a number of reasons, but the biggest one is that I just think it does a good job against zone, and he's running a lot of zone. So there's Mariota making a huge throw. So we'll go no huddle. And he's been showing this cover three, which is interesting. Normally, I would have gone to um, man. He's what is he doing on the line of scrimmage? He's user flipping rushing. Like, what is this? I've never seen this before. I've never seen someone play like this. This is an interesting defense. Like. Not even mad. So there we have outside leverage with Emmanuel Sanders. He's running this cover three, and this is where I'm going to start kind of really – I think this is where I'm about to start really, you know, playing well because I'm starting to get a read on what he wants to do. It's taken me way too long to get there to that point. I've seen cover three, seen cover three. So there he goes, cover two. And – Jordan Reed. This is literally the slot, one of the sloppiest games I think I've ever played. I mean, this is all right. We're gonna go. We haven't even gone to the Saint spot shake. I don't know why we haven't. It's our one of our main cover three read. We just played a bad game. So there's a Mari Cooper. He's a Really good player for us. Um, he's cheap, but he's good. I mean, he's only, you know, he get you get him through those solo challenges. If you do all those solo challenges, you'll pick him up, and um, and he's pretty good. So there's Johnson powering. He's running this this stupid cover three defense, and so I'm just gonna throw it up the seam because. He's just running the same. You know, you know that's going to be there when he's doing that. And we just went to it out of a quick hike. So. Man, what a, what a terrible, absolutely terrible start to this game, first three quarters of football. 
Offense has not looked good at all. Really like this I form tight scheme though. And then this out of position Tavon Austin is really good. He's 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 the fastest running back not named Bo Jackson in the game. Um he's he's as fast as G Archer, but he's very agile and he can catch the ball to the backfield. He's got good route running. He's just a really, really good running back. If you're a passing offense, um, you know, in my opinion, he's one of the best ones. And then that David or is it da I think it's David Johnson. It may be some I think that's right. But he, um, Johnson, is a really good uh, back as well. There's the crossing patterns. We're right there. There's three people right there, and they just complete it. That's such a terrible, terrible freaking... So, the good thing about the defense so far is that we've been able to get him out of his running game. And as I say that, he breaks one right up the gut. Gosh dang it, man. Gosh dang it. So, okay. So, the defense's really goal here is to hold him to three. If we can hold him to three, I feel like we can win the game. Um, if he comes out in this, and he probably will. So there's a flat pass. We'll give that up. That's okay. I'm okay with the flats. Um, same set. All right, we've got to be really, 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 really open to this crossing pattern. I knew it was there. Dang it on, man. Split close. Making me look stupid. I haven't even seen this play before. Halfback will. That's a weird split close. I haven't seen that before. Oh, I'm in the wrong play. Oh, my gosh. I'm in the wrong play. I'm in the wrong freaking play. And there's the seam. It's wide open for a touchdown. Golly bomb. What a pathetic excuse right now for football. Gosh dang it. What are we doing right now? We're just playing so pathetic right now. We pick our play before he picks his. We don't know his personnel. <sighs> Comes out in pro set. Throws a stupid streak. <sighs> So stupid to me. Oh, dang it, Tavon Austin. All right, so we've got to score quick. So whether it be a field goal or a touchdown, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the idea is we have to score uh, relatively quick. Um, we're going to go to this drive out. We're going to try to hit that post. He's running cover three majority of the game. I haven't seen too much cover two. I've seen some cover three out of cover two, but not really too much. Here he goes, man, good call, but Amari Cooper should have saved me. He didn't. And the aggressive catch feature is literally one of the most frustrating things. They had the running back wide open, and that's honestly, this is all on me right now. I, I take full, full responsibility for what's going on right now offensively and defensively. We have been awful. So here he goes, cover two. We're able to hit Amari Cooper. He makes the catch. We got to go no huddle. Uh, we really need to score, like now. But the idea here is uh, to hopefully score uh, before the two minute warning, so that we can have it on our side. So here, that's a really, really good play. And Amari Cooper's going to get it out of bounds. We're in field goal range. We're going to go ahead and take this field goal here. Uh, the idea is we want to make him, we want to kind of give him the ball back before the two-minute warning. Uh, so we really need this field goal, you know, and this is why making your field goals is so important. And we missed that field goal earlier on simply because we made really bad, really bad game management. We end up putting ourselves in a really bad situation, and you saw us pay the consequence. So here he goes onside kick recover. I'm kicking it deep. And uh, let's see if he'll fair catch this. If not, we may be able to get a hit stick. 
and Roby just makes a tackle. And see, now this is key because now we've got four ways to stop the clock. And so if we can, you know, if we can kind of keep everything in front of us, we should be okay here uh, to at least make a shot. To at least make a shot at um, at um, at winning this game. So we're going to spread our linebackers out here. Here he goes. The speed out. So good read by him. We'll take he'll take that to the two minute warning, uh, and in a second and four, he's in pretty good shape right now to win this game. Uh, we're gonna sub in some guys in our four three over formation here. Uh, and we're gonna go all out run defense right here. This is a a critical down. Goes halfback dive. We're way in the backfield. I don't know why he got through there. So there he goes to a streak route. He's going to convert. <sighs> I knew it was coming too. I put the stupid deep blue out there. That stupid wide trail, man, that changes the game because you can't freaking base a line. It's like everybody base lines. <sighs> Dang it. So, we did not come to play at all today. All right, Tavon Austin, make something happen. Make some magic happen, son. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, we had to waste a timeout, too. And this game, man. Good game, guys. Good game. It's a good game to learn from. A lot of things that we can teach from this. Um, one of the things, primarily, is we did not read the defense well at all. We, we just, like, did not read at all. Like, we didn't read left, right, middle. We didn't do our usual reading progressions. The offense looked sluggish at best. Um, and we didn't establish anything really. I mean, for the most part, we ran drive out only a couple times. Normally, we run that play way more frequently than that. And uh, and you see how uh, those things can com you know compound themselves. See, now we're looking solid, and we're gonna go ahead and get a touchdown here. We may have a shot if we can get an onside kick. But um, honestly, guys, I'm telling you. One thing leads to another in this game. If you do not execute your plays, you're not going to win, and it's that simple. And oftentimes, you know, oftentimes as a as an offense, it's 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 so so easy to not execute. It it, it really only takes a couple of things here and there, and uh, it really you have to discipline yourself uh, for sure to execute well. I'm telling you guys though. The one thing that we, if we take one good thing out of this game, it's that if we could be a little bit more, a little bit more rounded. Oh, he muffed it. He's going to have to run it out. Yep, good play. Smart play there. Uh, we shouldn't have kicked that deep. But um, if we could be a little bit more well rounded, that Marcus Mariota card, I'm telling you what, he's a monster. He's a. I haven't. I have yet to overthrow anybody. Let's see if we would have just done this first. There's the toss. We should have a blitzer. Fumble, fumble. Come on, man. At least we knocked him out of bounds. That'll give us one or two plays. So we're just gonna manually move this guy in. So here's timeout. He's got a minute 20. If I'm him, I'm throwing the ball here. Looks like he agrees. All right, on this play, we're going to go overload three sky press. There's a sack. That's huge. Wow, we got a shot at winning this game. So he's going to have to punt it. If we can get a decent return, we may actually have a shot here. This would be a crazy comeback. If this, we got a chalk team touchdown, 
shoot, this is a this would be crazy if we can come back here. I don't want to put words in my mouth, but man, what a game! What a game so far because we're gonna get the ball at midfield. That's a huge sack. I mean, we're probably gonna get the ball around midfield. He's trying to punt this out of bounds. We're actually gonna have a shot at returning this if we can, and we don't get the stupid block we needed. Okay. Offensively, it's time to work. It's time to go to work here. Uh, we've got to be smart in our play selection, and we have got to execute. So two high safeties. Rotates back. Probably going to be a deep shell on the outside here. Our looking is to ja Reed or Jordan Reed. And we don't have anything open. We catch this guy on the out. He doesn't get out of bounds. Do not go no huddle here. It's important. So no, no huddle because of the fact that we think we can get to the line a little quicker. He's backing coverage off. We've got this corner route. We've got to get out of bounce. Nice. All right, so we got the ball at the 20. All right, this is where... This is where we have to make this drive out play money. If it's not there, we can throw it away. So he goes outside. Ja, Jordan Reed catches it. We've got 11 seconds. Holy frick, we're going to do it. We're going to freaking win this game. Six, four, three. This is going to be our last play. And he picks it off. Wow. What a game. Honestly, that's all on me. If I throw a high pass lead there, that's a touchdown, and we win the football game. And what a game. Gosh, dang. We made about a billion mistakes, but what a game. Man. Guys, honestly, you know, I made a billion mistakes there. I could go back and talk about all of them. The biggest one is just game management. It, it simply comes out to that. I did not manage the game well. I did not. I did not read the defense well at all. Um, and it, it, honestly, it came down to it. I made gave up too many big plays defensively because of my alignment. I, I wasn't. And then, uh, you know, after that, I mean, it really comes to it kind, kind of boils down to the fact that we missed we missed a read. And we missed several reads that game, and we missed one of them that counted most. He ran cover two. I should have high pass led that. I've I've ran that route a million times, and and we just blew it. We just missed it. Okay, and, and it's what I talk about all the time. The the two pillars of a successful offense is is chemistry and and consistency. You know, we had this scheme. It was there. We couldn't execute. We couldn't execute consistent consistently. So, uh, you know, good game by him. Five turnovers. You're not going to win many games. You know, you're not going to win many games when you have five turnovers. Uh, this ended up being this ended up being the crucial moment right here. I mean, this was this was huge. This was the final play of the game. We have it. We have everything we want here. Everything we want. This is the matchup we wanted. Look, if I high pass lead this, if I high pass lead this ball, you know, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. We win the game. Okay, so that's on me. I take responsibility. I think you guys can learn a lot from this gameplay. I think there's a lot of things that occurred that will help you guys. So uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, please don't hate on me too much. I know that I'm not the best player in the world. Uh, I just love to play the game, and I love to talk about it. So that's all we've got for you guys. Hopefully something in this video can help you. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. For those of you that are new, if you like what you saw today, be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, so that you can get access to more content. Thanks a lot.